All right, so in last episode, I got some holes in this little guy. So I went and patched it on up, trimmed it on down, and finally finished the rug. sponsored by Squarespace. So quick recap, watching my Instagram reels. So I was inspired by Figamed to try to make this trippy rug. I thought I'd buy one from Amazon, cut it in half, and then like make it all droopy. So I drew out how I want it on the monk's cloth and started going, but I made a hole like right off the bat. But I'm like, uh, I should be fine. So I just went ahead and went and did it until I got such a big hole that I'm like, okay, this sucks. But I didn't like the color of the red anyway, so I'm like, oh, I'll just start over and take a nap. All right, so in reel number two, what I did was I projected it out and kind of drew exactly how I had done it on the computer. And I tried two different uh, rug guns and different monk's cloth and figured out how to make it work. Turned into Super Mario there. And... I liked it, it was looking good, but while I was um, shaving it down, I actually put a hole in it, so cool, cool, cool. Lining it up, it looked nice and cool, but because there were some holes in it, I decided to make it into a three-parter. Oh, that just uh, looped. But yeah, so I'm making a three-parter, and here we go. All right, so here's hole number one, and if we move it up top, there's hole number two. So I'm gonna try two different methods of patching it. First one, I'm actually just going to use some of this monk's cloth from the bottom here. I'll just cut it out and then take some rug glue. And we're just going to smush that up all around the hole. With that, you can just smush the monk's cloth on top. And then I'm going to sew it into place. You got you to gotta thank dear old Mama Pernu for teaching me how to sew. Also, she does read my comments, so you guys better be nice to me. <laughs> So just tie a knot, cut off the excess, and then here from the front side, you can see it. So then just clean up around that hole. Then I'm gonna use a punch needle to fix it. So you load it from the front end, here in the back, you're gonna thread that through and pull it all the way through. And then you're gonna do that hole and pull it through. I have a video on punch needling that isn't about making rugs, but it's the same concept. And I also found that if I held on to the yarn as I was coming through the front, I can make it nice and long, which would be easier to clean it up later, I feel like. So flip it around, cut off the excess, then just smother it with some rug glue. Cool, 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 cool. So then I just cut around the edge of there because I don't need all the extra fabric. And for the next one, I'm actually going to sew it in place first, like sew it together. I wish I would have done that on the first one. Ooh. Oh well. And then I'm actually going to use a screen. And because I'm the worst tenant in the whole world, I just snagged that from my house I'm running. And we're going to sew that into place. Tie a knot, cut off the excess, and then on the other side, same deal. Just clean it up and then use the punch needle to fill in that little hole. Then when it's done, flip it around, cut off the excess, and then smother it with some rug glue. My cat's currently trying to claw its way into my shirt. Strudel, go away. And then once it's all dry, the rug glue, you can just trim away all the excess and use some sheep shears to clean it up and trim it down. Cool, 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 cool. So same thing for this next one. Just cut off all the excess and then some sheep shears to trim it around. And now we just need to attach the left and the right side. So first thing I gotta do is line it up and make it straight. So I cut off and pulled out some of the yarn to make it straight. And then I just sewed that in place. And looks like it's gonna hold pretty well. And so to merge these, I actually just can use that punch needle again. And I went like right on the seam, then also through the rug in some places. And because of that, it actually started fraying. But I thought it would be okay, so I flipped it around and put some glue down. But I didn't want this right one to fray. You see how like it could easily fray there, that, that string could come undone. So before stitching this right one, down I'm just gonna put some rug glue along the edge and then clean up that right side and then smush it on down and hopefully let it dry before we sew it in 
And cool, I'm gonna have to redo the left side because it did fray so bad. Uh, it's fine, we're fine. But now with this right side a little dry, I just sewed it in place. And cool, now for the left side. Ooh. I cleaned it up a little bit to see how bad the damage was. It was kind of frayed and not holding in place. So just glued it and then smushed it into place again. We're gonna let it dry. And while that dries, I worked on the right side at filling in the gaps and merging the two rugs. With that, just clean up the back of that right side and put some rug glue to dry. Now for this cute little left side again, I sewed it in place one more time. And I, uh, you can like, you can see the seam because it was fraying so bad. But I mean, I think if you didn't know, I could, you could maybe get away with it. Maybe my voice is really high, uh, but overall stoked on it. I tested to see if you could clean up the little white things on the fray and I kind of could, but for the most part. So before I move on to that right side, past me has a little something to say. So, huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you've seen one of my videos, you've probably already heard me talk about Squarespace. That's because I love them. I've been using them for five years. And what Squarespace is, it's a one-stop shop for all things website. So you need to make a website, you need a domain, you need an online shop, you need a blog, whatever. They got it all for you in one convenient spot. Boing. So one thing I really like about Squarespace is their email campaigns. You can build out a community and a list of people to send out your emails. And on those emails, you can connect it back to your website, to like their blog, a link, your shop, whatever you want. Another thing I really like is their donation button. You can have that linked up to Apple Pay, Venmo, PayPal, or just a credit card. So let's say you wanted to give something away and then ask for a donation, you can do that through, through that. And lastly, what I really like is their analytics. So you can see what is working on your site, what isn't working, so you can put more time into what is working, saving you valuable time, and building up a nice website, community, blog, whatever it is you want to do. So you can actually click the link in the description right now and start making your website for free. Then when you do decide to launch it or buy a domain, coupon code SHMOOD or go to squarespace.com backslash mood to get 10% off your first purchase. So cool. Okay, on to the right side. So I trimmed it on up and then shaved it on down. And yeah, actually really stoked with how this seam looks. It worked out better than I thought. I did want to shave it down a little more. If I made more holes, I would never tell you because I don't want to make this into a part four. So you'll never know. And to do the edges, I just cut off all the monk's cloth, left like a border about an inch, and then cut little relief, relief cuts? Sure, little relief cuts. And what you can do with these is you can actually flip the rug over. Nice job, good work. And then put some rug glue along the border, and then just fold up those little fabric pieces along the side, and then smother it with some rug glue again on top. So I did that all the way around the entire rug and it took longer than I thought that's 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 that showbiz baby so with it all dry just move the table out of the way Ooh, look at those those all those accessories in those pockets and th this is the first time I'm seeing it too like not me voice over me but me in the video and honestly pretty stoked with it I thought it'd be cool if I like put it up against the wall and it did look really cool I posted a little video on my Instagram story of how nice it looked, but I'm gonna take it home and stage it nice and pretty so y'all can see it. Wow, it looks so cool. I'm sure this isn't the, the same process that like Fega Med does to make his rugs, but it did make me appreciate the art of it. I feel like a good way to learn how to do anything is imitate to create. And like, if you wanna be good and learn from people, you learn from the masters. I feel like I learned a lot in this process. So stoked Fagamed made his rugs and I could uh, try to imitate it. Cool. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for our patrons.